This is the assembly instructional video for the High Adventure pontoon boat from Buck's Bags. Step one, assembling the frame. Begin by unboxing and lay out all components neatly on the ground. This will help you identify parts quickly and easily. Locate the seat back and attach it using the supplied pins. Insert the seat platform into the correct holes on the outriggers. You should note that the oar stands designate the front of the boat. Take the rear crossbar and slide it into the holes on the back of the outriggers as shown. Next, take five hitch pins and insert them into the holes on both the rear crossbar and seat platform. The hole in the left rear of the seat platform should be left empty. We will come back to this in another step. Step two, attaching the oar lock sliders. Place the clamp on the oar stand with the outward hole pointed slightly downward. This will allow for a more comfortable rowing angle. Adjust the oar lock to the desired location and tighten all bolts securely with an Allen wrench. Step three, inserting the foot pegs. Please note that when the pegs are placed next to each other, they point slightly inwards. Insert the pegs into the holes on the front of the frame. Make sure they are pointed inwards and towed up. A good starting position is the middle hole. You may adjust the length of the pegs at any time. Step four, attaching the anchor line lock system. With the system apart, place the bottom piece with pulley and axle on the left side of the frame just behind the left foot peg. Place the two short bolt in the holes on the inside of the bracket and the two long bolts on the outside. Tighten down all bolts securely, making sure that the system is tilted up slightly. Step five, airing up the pontoons. Bucks Bags ships the pontoons with the valve in the open position. You will need to gently press the black center button and rotate a quarter turn to the left to close the valve. Insert the inflation adapter into the valve and lock it into place. You are now ready for inflation. Pontoons should be aired up fully and no wrinkles should be visible. Note that while traveling to higher elevations and our warmer climates, release some air pressure to allow for expansion. You then can top off your pontoon once you reach your destination. Position inflated pontoons beneath the frame so the zipper is directly on top and the logo is toward the outside. Strap the pontoons into the frame as shown by looping around the frame and through the cam buckle. Note that for normal use, the pontoons should be centered. They can easily be shifted fore and aft of center to compensate for unbalanced loads. Step six, attaching the anchor rope tube and motor mount. Locate the anchor rope tube and attach it by clipping it into the rear crossbar as shown. Using the supplied hardware, insert the bolt with a support bracket into the remaining hole on the seat platform. Be sure to insert from the bottom up. Then place the washer and nylon nut on and tighten. Place the anchor rope tube into the support bracket. Attach the motor mount by inserting the flag over the top of the bracket. Use a supplied cotter pin to keep it in place. Next, snap on the pulley wheel simply by pressing it into the top of the motor mount. Step seven, installing the oar locks. Depending on the model of boat, your oar locks will be plastic or metal. The assembly steps are the same. Insert the oar lock into the hole on the oar slider and secure it with a supplied cotter pin. Repeat this step for the other side. Step eight, attaching the cargo pockets. With the cargo pocket facing forward, loop the Velcro between the pontoon and the frame as shown. 
Feed it back to the ladder buckle and secure it to itself. With the longer straps on the inside, slide them between the frame and the pontoon as shown. Fish the strap back through the buckle on the pocket and connect it to the side release buckle. Step nine, attaching the battery sling. To attach the battery sling, lay out the netting as shown. Make sure that there are two straps toward the front and rear and one strap on the left and right. This netting will receive the plastic aftermarket battery box if you are using an electric trolling motor. Step 10, installing the anchor line rope. Feed the rope to the anchor pulley and down the anchor tube. You will see the rope come out on the other side. Feed the rope into the anchor lock system. Once through, simply lock the rope into place. Step 11, attaching the stripping apron. While sitting in the boat, loop the nylon strap over the oar stand as shown. Attach the bungee cord through the rear D-ring of the cargo bag. Run the Velcro through the back loop on the apron and secure it to itself. Adjust the front straps, but be careful not to over tighten. To exit the boat without completely removing the apron, simply undo the Velcro from the rear of one side and then unsnap the front buckle of the same side. Step 12, or assembly. Each set of our oars from Buck's Bags is assembled in the same way no matter the model. First, attach the oar extension piece to the oar handle. Using soapy water, slide the rubber oar stops on the oar shaft from the middle, not over the grip. Generally, you want the oar stop to be the length of your forearm from the grip. Next. Slide the oar sleeve down the shaft of the oar to the oar stop. Assemble the final two sections of the oar. Congratulations, you are now ready to hit the water in your new high adventure pontoon boat from Buck's Bags. For more assembly questions, please give us a call at 1-800-284-2247. And remember, Bucks Bags products are proudly made in the USA.